All right, guys, I'm here to talk to you about how diabetes scared me straight and put me in, I believe, the most healthiest state of my life. You want to know how? Just keep watching. share with you I'm sharing with you about my journey with pre-diabetes I am NOT a doctor I'm learning myself so you have to learn for yourself don't take my advice on what you should do for yourself because I had to find my own research for myself so this is my disclaimer okay guys um I have always tried to do every diet out there. I mean every diet, the lemonade diet, the water diet, pills, um, starvation, uh, fasting, um, sea salt diet, all of that. I, I mean, if there's a diet out there um, to try to help me lose weight, I tried it. And for the most part, you know, I was successful until I wasn't and what I mean by that was it was just something that was a quick fix but it wasn't something that I had made my mind up to change now even though I was going to the health club <clears throat> from time to time and working out and you know doing my supplements and everything like that I would still have my other things that I craved for and you know um like my chips, my pop, my cake. You know, like if I was still in my teens or something, I would love to get me a cupcake with a bag of potato chips and a cold Pepsi. Ooh, the type of Pepsi that had the little ice in it. I would purposely put it in the refrigerator so to get the chips and ice in it. Ooh, we ain't gonna talk about the cheese and caramel popcorn. But I digress. Ooh, I digress. So, you know how when you go on a diet, you say, okay, I'm going to treat myself to this. I'm going to treat myself to that. Well, that's what I was doing. I was treating myself often. Okay, I am mm -mm, mm -mm, years old. <laughs> Put it to you like this. I'm old enough to get my booster shot for the COVID. Oh, I got to tell y'all about that too. But let's not get off, you know, the subject. I went to the doctor and... um you know, for a regular checkup, and she told me I was a pre-diabetic, um, you know, and she gave me three months to, you know, leave the carbs, the sugar, the cakes, the pop, the pasta, the breads, you know, um, processed food alone. So, you know, she told me that, I'm like, what? You know, I'm pre-diabetic. You know, we all think of ourselves as being it's being strong and that, you know, nothing is going to touch us, it's, you know, things like that. So in the midst of, you know, her giving me my three months until my next appointment, you know, at first, I, I say for the first week or whatever, I did really good. But the closer it got to my appointment, I, I guess my nerves or something kicked in. Because, you know, I don't want to become a diabetic. I didn't even think I was anywhere near close to, you know, things like that. Um, okay, so I started eating. I mean, the night before I had to go in, I ate, you know, some crazy stuff. Thinking that my sugar was going to go down. Because I, I was doing good off and on for the three months. Um, until, like, especially the last three weeks before I had to go in. Anyway. You know, hanging out with girlfriends, having mimosas, and, you know, I was sitting at movie night with my husband, and we would have the waffle cone, chocolate triple dip, banana, ice cream, you know, watching movies and just laying down on it. Okay, so, when I went back in, I was even more pre-diabetic, you know, my smile. My levels had raised from, I think, 5.7 to 6. And I think past 6.4, you were diabetic. Period. 
And I don't want to take shots and pills and things like this and that and this and that. So I said, okay, you got to be serious. Um, what's going to work for you? Be honest with yourself. You know you're lazy. You know you would skateboard to the bathroom if you could. You would drive your car to your neighbor's house instead of walking if you could. Because you know yourself. You know that you're, you know, you can be lazy. You know, um, so I had to be honest with myself and say, okay, what is going on here? Okay, I couldn't have pop and stuff like that in the household. I had just went and bought like an eight pack of those small little Pepsi Pops, you know. I poured all that out. And um, I told my husband to stop bringing chips and stuff like that in the house because we will have that stuff on hand. So, um, you know, he was on my side with all that. He, we, he stopped bringing me in the brownies, the cakes, the chips, and you know, and all that stuff because we will have ample of all that. Whatever we want to eat, we didn't have to get up at, at night. Ooh, we, it could be three in the morning if we had a taste for some chocolate or something like that. Man, it was down there. So um, I knew my willpower on that. If it was just going to be easy to get, that that couldn't be in there anymore. So we slowly get all that out the house and everything, and we didn't replace it. Okay, so now um, it came down to me. She said that uh, my doctor told me that I had to have 150 minutes uh, of workout, moderate workout in a week or vigorously, you know, like hits and stuff like that for 75 minutes straight. Okay, I had to be honest with myself. Do you want to work a straight 75 minutes just doing hits and workout and, you know, no. So I said, okay, you can do 30 minutes a day. For five days and that'll give you your 150 um you can do 50 here 50 there in a day you know one o'clock in the morning or let's say one in the afternoon do 15 minutes and then later on around three do 15 minutes i said you know what why keep that uh, in front of you like that just knock out the whole 30 just get rid of it knock out the whole 30 in one sitting now the problem is, how you going to do that? You lazy. You, you don't really like to work out. So how you going to do that? <sighs> I knew housework. You know, housework can be, you know, something. But that really wasn't going to cut it. I needed to know that I was actually just working out, you know, getting it in. So I found on YouTube, um, Body Project. That was like sent down from heaven. It is really effortless to do that workout and I mean keep it going. I mean I I just got through eating so I am going to you know do my workout after I finish this video and everything and do my workout. They have every level for beginners, um, intermediates, um, intervals, hits, low impact, high impact, cardio, different times, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, walking. I mean it, it was when I found that it was doable and I Thank you, God, for allowing me to find that. Okay, so once I found that, I started doing that every day. Every day. Now, it was certain things about my diet. I didn't know it was diabetes, but certain things was going on with me, like my hands and feet would be tingling. Um, like if you would just lay on your hands and feet, oh, well, you know, lay on your hands and do, you know, you thought it fell asleep, but it was more than that for me. Feet started tingling. Uh, I couldn't see nothing. Everything was blurry. Everything was blurry, even with my glasses on. I couldn't, you know. Um, so different things, you know, was telling me that something was going on. But um, I didn't know that it was pre-diabetic, you know. And so um, once she told me that, I started educating myself on insulin, glucose, you know, how the body breaks it down, are you insulin resistant, or, you know, what was going on for my case. And I found out that, you know, with her telling me to leave the starches and everything alone, that um, my pancreas was working really, really hard to try to pump out insulin. Because every time you eat, you know, you start your digestive system and your, your pancreas got to push out this insulin to deal with the glucose and... Your glucose is going in your cells, but if your cells is 
all you know stuff with uh, the glucose for you to be able to store this energy to burn later um, your insulin can't unlock it but now where is it going to go it's going to start clogging up your arteries and, and things like that and you become insulin resistant when your insulin just can't get the cells to take the glucose anymore so as I got really educated about what was going on with my body it made it easier for me to say okay do this do that so then I started fasting uh, I did I ate for six hours and then you you know you go without food for 18 but that's not what I did I did the 618 but you know, when I ate, I didn't just eat a straight six hours. You know, you couldn't eat and then you would wait two hours and eat again, wait, you know. So once I educated myself really good on what fasting I was able to do, you know, um, I ate. And then knowing that every time I start, I put anything in my mouth, that's going to start that digestive system going and glucose releasing and my body having to do all this insulin and so I said, you know, mm -mm, fasting, okay, how are you going to be able to do this? So uh, I fast, and at first I was eating twice a day, breakfast and you know, dinner, and I'd get it in before my six hours was up. But then I said, you know what, you really don't like eating, eating breakfast like that. So I uh, stopped eating breakfast, but I would have my coffee. But I was messing up because I have um, coffee in my cream. <laughs> Just like that. I love cream. That the French vanilla, you know. And so I had to stop that because that was bad for me. I mean, that would just, you know, knock you out of a fast and all that. So I educated myself on fasting, what I could have during a fast, what I can't have during a fast. And, you know, one of the things that I drink a lot is, I ain't going to say drink a lot. I have me one big cup of coffee in the morning, black, because it will not stop my fast. And through that day, I would drink that same cup of coffee, just warm it up, you know, and, and this and that, and you know, and drink it. And it keeps me from being hungry, you know, and then you can have your waters. You got to look it up and see the certain drinks that you can have, you know, during a fast, you know, tea and, you know, just, you know, different things, you know. So once I found out what I could have and what I couldn't have, um, I just left that creamer alone. I left that creamer alone and I just drank my coffee black. So, you know, and I can say also that um, now um, I don't eat nothing but once a day because that coffee take me all the way through the day, all the way for 23 hours, I'm telling you. And then I eat once. But then lately, I've been um, fasting for 24, 25 hours because I don't be hungry. Once I found out that we train our body to get hungry at certain times because we always snacking and doing stuff like that. I mean, I was like, man, I got to untrain my body. If I trained it to do this, I'm going to untrain it to do that. So, guys, I'm telling you, I think educating myself made my journey um with this pre-diabetic uh, diagnosis easier um i have gotten into the best shape of my life you know god delivered blessings in different ways you know what i'm saying and this woke me up i had to be scared straight i had to be scared straight so um now i can't stop working out now um and what I mean by that, I be wanting to work out. Even though I put in 30 minutes, I go and do another 30. You know, I don't eat all day. I don't be doing all that snacking. I done left sugar, carbs, cakes, pop, all that alone. And if I do want to pop, I use that, that Zia pop. Um, Z-E-A-I-A. -A, something like that. I think I got a picture of it. If I do, I'll post it. But other than that, guys, um, nope. And that's from the health food store. I don't have no sugar, no carbs, no sodium, no nothing in it. Zero calories, zero 
going all the way down the list, but it give you a flavor if that's something you want to drink until you can ease yourself off of it. So guys, I'm telling you, I could go on and on and on about this, but I'm telling you, um, you can do it. You can do it. So guys, I'll keep you updated um, about my progress and you know how it's going. I went and picked up a supplement today called Glue, Glue Care. I'll post a picture of that too. I don't even think I'm going to take that supplement. It's supposed to help you with your insulin and things like that. But I'm doing good on my own. I, I'm not going to be relying on no pills or anything like that. I'm going to pray and I'm going to keep on asking God to deliver me um, solutions on what I can do to get myself healthy. And I am on the right track right now. So guys, you have reached Top It Off with Miss R. I'm Miss R. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you'll know when my next video is coming out. And guys, until tomorrow, stay safe, stay blessed, love one another, and I'll talk to you later. Good luck on your journey.